So I'm gonna work on last layer, which is drawing fluid painting and let that dry and cover the whole thing with screen filler. And that method, I don't have to worry about islands and you know, floaters and whatnot. But um, there's other things you could do too. So my layer is gonna be blue and which is a background. And this layer, this shadow of the houses or town or whatever, is gonna be the uh, overlay of brown and the blue. So it's gonna make it more dark, but uh, desaturated, more uh, neutral color. But the whole thing is gonna be blue, except for stars and the cat. So um, one thing that that's gonna maybe make you um, confused a little bit, but um, I could carefully paint around the stars, then let that dry and cover with the screen filler, or I could actually paint the stars with the screen filler beforehand. So drawing fluid is this bluish material. You're gonna see, so you don't have to worry too much, but the idea of it is you paint whatever is gonna be the ink with the drawing fluid. Then after that, it, that thing is dry, you cover whole screen with the brownish thing called the screen filler because it's, it fills screen, so it's called the screen filler. And after screen filler dry, you wash the drawing fluid with water. And drawing fluid is water soluble, so it's gonna just melt. Screen filler, on the other hand, it, once it dries, it stays. So, for the start, it's easier to paint with the screen filler before I apply drawing fluid than screen filler again. Whiskers in the background, that's going to be white of the paper. So it's easier to paint whiskers before. But so first thing I want to do is I want to actually have this piece of paper under the screen. And I'll tape it from the back and copy the lines that I have to have in the drawing fluid with pencil, but dull pencil, like not too sharp. This one's kind of sharp. I guess I should make it a little dull, but uh, um, you see this yellow because it's my screen and I I bought two of the smaller screen, but it's taken. I um, mean, it has emotion on it and I haven't taped the demo on that part, so I had to use this one. Um, drawing fluid, you can apply in two ways. One way, which I like, is copy with pencil, then then flip the screen, then paint with the drawing fluid. Flipping the screen gives you this thickness to be um, lifted off the ground so you don't have to worry about nothing sticking to drawing fluid. Another way to do that is you can actually build up some floaters here on the on, on the area that doesn't have drawing fluid. So the cat, maybe the little one starts and outside. So this is a process that skip the pencil tracing and directly paint with the drawing fluid by looking through the screen. So, okay, I'm just gonna... This is what is called key image registration paper. So it's, it's better to keep really clean. So I'm just kind of sticking to my hand and, you know, making this um, tape kind of weak. And this is just a piece of cardboard and just to uh, give some space. And you do not want to tape this on the part that you have the drawing fluid. Maybe leg right here. Yeah. 
you want to kind of have it at the good strategic point so you can have this lifted like I want to have in the center of this side I'll probably want to have it here too and you want to have it like as thick as one quarter inch or so and also the foam core or you know stuck over a chipboard might do if there's a little bit of a difference in height that's okay but you don't want the drawing fluid to touch this paper when you're painting so then you tape and make sure it's in the close to the center I can see my lines through the screen but the screens are lifted off the of the key image or the my sketch which is gonna be uh, used for each color registration so I don't want drawing fluid to be dropping on that right you really have to sit straight down because if you're sitting far away and it's in the diagonal the line's gonna get skewed so you you look at it and sit straight down and paint the area that's gonna be the ink okay but the first thing in this particular image what I'll do is paint the stars and details in the face and whatnot with the screen filler. Right, and then do the drawing fluid, then do the cover. But uh, I want to have rather precise, so I actually uh, prefer to trace. So if I were to trace, I don't need this. Right. Some people put piece of mylar and thinking, oh, piece of mylar will prevent drawing fluid to stick onto this paper. Yeah, it does, but drawing fluid will stick to the mylar and you don't have the drawing fluid. You have to have drawing fluid because that's what keeps screen filler from filling up the space so that you can print. So I just taped and this is this is stuck. I mean this is you know close contact, no space in between. So now I just use pencil to draw whatever I needed to draw. Then I remove this and flip the screen, then paint the screen filler for the stars and whiskers, then paint the other things that has to be blue with the drawing fluid. So this is after I trace and I remove the registration paper because I want to keep that safe and so I just have a piece of white paper so you can kind of see the pencil mark it has a haze. So this is how I um, trace right because this is the direction but that's not the way I paint. I'm gonna flip this. Then I can see the pencil line and I paint first with a screen filler, dry that, then paint the um, drawing fluid. And you could actually um, work without the drawing fluid, you know, I mean as far as the silk screen goes, you could, you could just have just have a screen filler and, and make silk screen work. But it's a lot of work to paint screen filler right here and it's easier to just fill it so before I paint I just wanted to show you screen filler it's something like that screen filler and this is the drawing fluid and in the shop there are big containers and since this class is face to face and we put as much as possible in the supply kit but a screen filler and a drawing fluid I initially made it optional. I guess it's still okay to be optional, but as long as you know how to use it. Um, 
So the thing was, if the instruction become online due to the COVID, this you may actually want to pick up screen filler and drawing folder in this size, not this one, but this size at the uh, at supply or break or whatever. It's not that expensive, but uh, this gives you more option um, that you can do in stencil only. But uh, we have that in the shop and you know, if you're in a paint at home and whatnot, you can come pick it up in the little um, containers after we started to uh, see, you know. Um, we'll talk about that later. It's uh, usually uh, settled in the bottom. So, uh, and usually it's really hard to open. So I just had to uh, open it and had that lots of good. But, so anyway, so I don't know if I can show, but the bottom, see how that there's a, you know, kind of solid stuff. And you want to start it really well because top part is kind of watery and you don't want top part only and bottom part only like you're not really mixing well but what happens is people don't clean up right here you can just wipe with a sponge and it takes two seconds but they don't you know all this gunk and it takes a bit to uh, clean up which is not fun so I put where the uh, block has to happen screen filler so the next I use uh, drawing fluid. This is supposed to go to the uh, areas that are uh, ink, okay? Because it's gonna wash out and make ink go through. So uh, this is like the color, like a bluish, uh, like a turquoise, I guess. Um, I'm gonna paint where the ink is gonna go, but I um, just wanted to um, show you one thing. If you want like something really straight, you could do this too. Thin tape. You don't want something, anything thick. So this is scotch tape. Maybe I need a little thicker brush. And I'm gonna just peel it right away. And I'm going over the screen filler here, my stars and stuff, because this is gonna wash away, so it doesn't really matter. The blue stuff is gonna wash away. It's a water soluble thing, and open up the areas that um, gonna be a hole in the stencil, and the brown is gonna be the um, mask. Okay, when you're peeling this, you want to be careful with the nail. But anyway, so this, you know, can be a handy trick. I wanted to show you, like, uh, if you make mistake, I mean, hopefully you don't make a mistake where you have lots of mark making, but suppose I made a mistake or whatever, if I want to erase this mark, just get a little bit of water on the paper towel or something and just wipe it because this wash out with the water so you can just wash it up pretty easily. Two things I wanted to tell, uh, this demo is very flat uh, meaning that look of it is very um you know kind of graphic but uh, you can definitely use um brush stroke with the drawing fluid that's kind of part of it too like you can have this drawing very kind of organic well, another thing i wanted to say uh was that as you see like deep you know some deep areas like deep color that's kind of puddle so when you are done you don't want to just stand this because this puddle of um, drawing fluid can ooze um, it's okay if it's ooze in the image but uh, it can go out and that's gonna be a 
ink and you don't want that this whatever the area that has the drawing fluid is gonna be the ink so that's that so I'm gonna just dry it like that and drawing fluid dries maybe like maybe an hour or two so it's been maybe an hour and a half or so um looks wet right like shiny and but it's dry you can touch it um when you're not sure like touch it a little bit and you know you can tell it's it's dry so i'm gonna just use my clamp hinge board to uh, hold on so that i can you use both hands to pull the squeezy because when you do the screen filler you're gonna use squeezy like you're printing almost and you want somebody to be holding and so you can just use your you know clamp pinch and just clamp it really well you notice i am putting the flat side on top so it's not the way i print so actually it's better to spread from the flat side because i dried it this way you know what i mean so the you know there might be some bump on the other side i just feel this way is easier so um i have bucket of water you can't see it because this bucket of water and sponge for cleanup and i have a big squeezy what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour a ribbon of screen filler more than i need because i don't want to run out so then i just pour all the way and then uh, slide it like okay you can't really see there either so like it, you come all the way at the end and like slide it so that's not dripping at the end and that's it you don't want to go back there are some YouTube videos and saying like going back and forth and back and forth drawing fluid which is water soluble gonna start melting because screen filler is sort of like a liquid when you're starting and of course it's gonna dry to a hard finish but when it's wet it's water based it's gonna mess up your layer so just have enough and once then clean up you could use spatula you could you could pour it too but uh, i'm a little uh, timid about pouring this gigantic container you know like in terms of width of this ribbon one inch you might not need that much actually sorry this is a big screen your screen is 20 by 18 so maybe three quarter inch or so okay maybe like that And take everything I hope it's showing yeah take everything here and don't rush too much but uh... okay so that's nice all right I have too so much uh, extra but that's okay I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna see like I removed the screen screen filler and I'm gonna take one of the sponge and just wipe it wipe sponge wipe you can't see but like anyway so i'm wiping right here because it's good to just wipe it when it's wet it's easy it dries it started to dry pretty fast so i have some extra here and i could actually use the extra to fill in and I'm doing this but it's outside of the image I don't want to go back into the image again so um, you can kind of see the other side too right here at the bottom i haven't cleaned 
and the uh, edges that's still thick thick areas but I'm kind of using this I don't know if you can see or not um maybe right here I could just pull it and use this to fill to only thing really I don't want to go into the image but outside it's not that bad and another point of screen filler you don't want to have too thick the issue is too thick is it's gonna be very hard to clean up so what I'm gonna do is oops I'm gonna just take this you know to uh, cardboard and just putting it back into the container like that maybe and wipe here I dripped some wipe this and squeeze pretty well it's true shouldn't be drippy because then it's gonna dilute right so um just wiping all these mess right here but this is it and i'm gonna wait till tomorrow um let it dry completely if you're doing daytime, 30 minutes at least, maybe, you know, an hour, you know, you can maybe mix in ink or do other things and let this dry. Then wash drawing fluid. I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. Trying to wash the um, drawing fluid, which is going to be easy. I, I, uh, if you can see around the moon, you know, it's already uh, washing up. So I'm doing it in bathtub because I don't want to drain the, um, the drawing fluid in the garden or anything like that. So just using the bathtub and this is a large screen, so it's hard, but uh, your little screen might fit in sink. <laughs> You know my screen's yellow, so you see yellow. But uh, this is how that's gonna that it's supposed to work. So I have water absorbing cloth and new spring on the floor, so I can just no drip the water all over the house. So this part is easy because drawing fluid is supposed to come out with water it does um, what you see as red reddish uh, brown is the screen filler right so after you um, wash it up and dry you can look through the light and if there's any holes or anything that's um, open where you don't want ink to go through just touch it up with the screen filler and let that dry and you can print the hardest part is to remove this but uh, we're not there yet 